the demo that you're about to see is about contacting and palpating the parietal peritoneum from the front side and the back side, as well as working with the mesentery roots. So step one, front side of the peritoneum, back side of the peritoneum. Twisting from the front side, engaging the bag and twisting. What you're going to discover, and I'm just going to pre-kit this a little bit, is that one direction will feel right and good and just like right on. The other, the other way will feel kind of strange. I'm just letting you know that for most people, this feels right, this feels funny. So clockwise, good, anti-clockwise, not so good. <laughs> it's because of that as well as the direction of how our whole gut tube migrated um, <clears throat> embryologically. Okay. So let's let's let that just sit in the air for a second and we'll figure that out when we actually do it. So my hand, this is the tool. That's the tool. We're sinking past the skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia, muscle, to the bag around the organs. Soft surface, power surface. That is the twist at the front aspect, or the anterior aspect of the bag. You did okay? Mm -hmm. Good. You're very brave. So that's clockwise. I never get more than 90 degrees of a twist. Okay. If you're getting 270 degrees, you're way too superficial. Okay. You're just twisting skin. Okay. Let's try anti-clockwise and just see how that feels. And already it's like weird, strange. I'm not engaging you the same way. So let's go back to the regular nice way. You're awesome. Thank you. So I'm going to put you right here. Thank you. Now let's engage to this layer here, to the roots of the mesentery. So I got a sink first, same tool. There we go. So now we're at the bottom of the bag. And now I'm going to twist. Good. How you doing? Is that more tender, uncomfortable? It's a little more tender. You can feel it pulling from the back. Yeah, there. good. Mm -hmm. That's great. So she's feeling the bag changing shape, pulling from more of the spine? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. great. Let's do that one more time in the direction that the organs migrate or have migrated. Okay, great. You're gurgling beautifully. So now I'm going to go anti-clockwise. So there, meet that layer again. And it is very strange this time. Mm. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's very ratchety and doesn't want to move yeah. very smoothly. I'm choosing one, two, three, four positions around the navel. And essentially, I'm landing one, two, three, four, right in the epicenter of the biggest connective tissue complex in our abdomen, the mesentery folds. I'm going to use this tool here. And I'm going to Soft hand, power hand. Sink in. Meet the first layer of resistance. Wait, breathe, relax. As that melts, I can go to another layer or I can move along. We, we have some choices here. If I'm working with somebody big, with a big belly wall, thick musculature, I can also do this. 
She's already gurgling beautifully. Same thing. I'm going to meet the first end feel. Good. You okay there? Keep breathing. Great. And I go to the second position. Good. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go all the way to the spine and blow past lots of resistance and watch them cringe, okay? The first place that stops you, stop there and wait. Breathe, relax. Listen to the tissue invite you in. Next place, sink in. Meet the first layer of resistance. Relax, breathe. Wait for the tissue to invite you in. This is, at the navel, the front of L3, lumbar three. So here's four, here's five, okay? This is the top of the hill. Say it again. Is that the second position? No, where the navel is, is where I'm, where I'm going, all of the spots that I'm pushing on, basically I'm going to land on the front of lumbar vertebrae three. Lumbar four, lumbar five. Okay? So we have a lordotic curve in our lumbar spine, so the lumbar spine comes this way. So it's very, the front side is very close. It's not very far away. You'll be surprised at how close the spine really is. Good. So twist front of the bag, twist back of the bag, and then meet one, two, three, four. That's our next trade. Not yeah. Using your elbow, uh huh. You incorporate a twist with that as well? No. You know, yeah, it's just meeting places in the mesentery folds. And sometimes a big tool is a good idea, especially with a big belly, okay? Or for someone whose fingers bend a lot, for example, okay? Someone with belly wall muscles that are really stout and hard, okay? Sometimes a big tool is just, it's more relaxing. It's more sort of safe. Putting a pressure over a broader area. Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Any questions about what you just saw? Yeah. Can this help to realign the lumbar, that region of the spine? Yeah, if that happens, that's not what I'm intending to do. But I have heard all kinds of like that, like clicks and releases and adjustments. Um, but let's stay away from trying to do like high velocity thrusting adjustment. So we don't want to do any of that stuff. We also don't want to say, you know, I'm going to put your bulging disc back in the right place. <laughs> so that is, one, you can't promise that. Two, it's inappropriate for our license. Okay.